Hey, what's up my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King Joe's the points today. I'll be doing the best class setup for the AX50. Now if you guys did miss out on some of the gameplays of this sniper, pretty much uh, I was dominating out there with the sniper, went over 30 kills with it, uh, calling it on my kill streaks, survived a lot with it too. So over the past few weeks I've been doing well with this sniper setup and uh I don't know man, I was really unprepared for this situation and uh well, I don't know where I did good with the sniper. So I want to teach you guys, you know, the sniper setup that I was using over the past few gameplays. Also during the stream, I did use the setup. So I have a lot of evidence that pretty much this weapon works for me. And the way I have it set up is to have the monolithic suppressor on and the muzzle in order for me to increase the range and maintain the damage for long distance combat. Pretty much uh, the monolithic suppressor is going to give you that, you know, increasing the damage range and also while keeping your stealth so your location will be revealed when you're sniping from certain locations that have like enemies going around you. Um, it should help you out keeping your range and also your stealth. Next attachment will be the barrel. Now this one, I wanted to increase the range too. So uh, pretty much I tried to maximize the range so I can keep the damage going so I don't get enough hit markers and all that stuff. Because without this, you're going to be hit marker city and you don't want any of that. You know, you want to kill them instantly. You want to one shot the enemy. So if you max out the range, pretty much you're going to be allowed to kill the enemy in one shot. So this is what I have. I have the Singard Arms Pro. Now there is a tiny difference. Pretty much uh, the 32.0 factory barrel does give you a little bit more mobility compared to range but the Singard Pro Arms Pro gives you more range so I tried to maximize the range a little bit more so I can have that one shot kill so that's why I had the Singard Arms, uh, the Singard Arms Pro the next two attachments now these two right here the rear grip and the stock they give you aim down sight speed so you can be ready right away once you spot the enemy and they spot you back and they shoot you you're gonna be able to go right away after the next shot so with these two attachments, the speed increases, you aim faster, it's almost like a quick scoping shot. That's what it allows you to do. And you saw that a few times in my gameplay, so uh, that's why I have these two odds. So I can have like, you know, some quick aiming, ready to go, and take down the enemy. Because I do have it paired up with an AR, so that means I gotta switch out, be ready for the shot, and then move on to the, to the next enemy. So that's why I have that attachment on these two but you can mess around with it to be honest you want to have a little bit of aiming stability so you can have a little bit more accuracy and you know mix it up a little bit but i personally use these two in order for me to aim down faster when it comes down to like too many snipers to snipe or something like that or too many too many people to snipe down the field because there's sometimes you know where the apc tank just drives around and they just you know you start seeing a bunch of enemies scatter that's the time these two attachments come in handy uh, the next attachment will be the FMJ. Now, this is very practical to have because once you see the counter UAV go up, you can shoot it down with a sniper. Also, you see a tank that's about to be destroyed, shoot it down with a sniper. Um, you know, if you see an enemy hiding behind a wall and you know where he is, and he just moves on like by an inch, you can still shoot him through the wall. That's what the FMJ allows you to do. So that's why I have to uh, keep it on in order for me to like maintain my damage and, uh, and allow myself to like shoot through the wall and all that stuff. So that is it, guys. That's the best class setup that I have with the AX50. If you guys want to see more best class setups, make sure you subscribe for more. Or also visit the playlist where I have the rest of the best class setups for the MP5. Also for several other weapons that I have there. So uh, check it out so you guys can get better at the game. So this is what I use. And uh, I'm going to be playing more with this sniper later on in, with the, in the next few live streams. So make sure you don't miss that either. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty content.